Hello everybody and welcome to the 12th day of our redstone advent calendar, counting down the days towards Christmas with some bite-sized redstone. What I've got for you here is a redstone comparator pulse extender. This little contraption I came up with when I was working on a bigger project and I needed a pulse extender to fit into a small space. So an important thing to note about this design is that it is one wide. Now it's not tileable, we've got some redstone at the top here that would connect, but if ever you need a pulse extender to fit into this sort of space then you've got this design to go to. So let's see it in action, we're going to power this, you can see our redstone lamps are our outputs and when we unpower it a moment later after it's extended that pulse it will turn off the first output and then the second and then the third and that's because each of these are basically a, a longer pulse extension than the one in front of it. Now this is based on a classic design right here that you might have seen for extending pulses this uses the comparator's awareness of signal strength to let it degrade slowly, like that, as you just saw. And what I've done is basically taken this concept and worked it into a one-wide design that's expandable. So you can see that we have three comparators going around in a circle, like those two do over there. And that means that they'll take a little bit longer when um, decaying the signal strength. So the next one then has four, the one after it has five comparators, six and seven. And so as the signal strength cycles around it over and over again, it takes a little bit longer each time. Another great thing about this design is that there's no fixed position for the input or output. Of course you can't use the blocks down the bottom here, but these other five blocks are all being powered, so we can power the uh, contraption from here and we could put the output on any one of those five blocks or we could power it from the middle as well so that makes it highly flexible which is really cool so I'm now going to show you how to build this we're going to start off with placing two blocks like so with pieces of redstone on top of them now this is where the signal strength gets decayed because it goes for more than one uh, signal strength and therefore the next bit that's being powered has to be um, slightly less so we're going to point a comparator into that like so and then just put a block behind it another comparator here and then this one will be pointing in the opposite direction because it's going around in a circle. So then a block above there and a piece of redstone on this one. And that's how you get three of them together. Now if you want a fourth one, you're going to put a block here, put a block in front of it and redstone below it. So you can see uh, that it just transfers it downwards. Now if you want to do five, it's more of the same. Um, just put the redstone here. So you can see the difference is if you have an odd amount, then you're going to have... And that's actually facing the wrong way. You're going to have the block with the redstone like this. And then if you have an even amount, you've got the block on top and the uh, redstone below. So that's how you build the contraption. Just to emphasize the point a little bit more, you can put the input anywhere you want. So the input's here, the output's there, and it's going to do exactly what it says. It's a pulse extender, so the pulse has gone in, and now this is going to last for a fair bit longer. That's going to be it from me this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like, and of course, check out Mumbo's video as well in this Redstone Advent calendar. And that's going to be it from me, so thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.